Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Have you ever wondered how flights are planned, what are the different phases and importance of flight phase? Today we will answer each and every question about the phases of flight. So let's get started. According to ICAO Accident and Data Reporting System, there are 13 phases. In that 13 phases, 8 are primary and 5 secondary. And according to IATA, there are total 18 possible phases in which any flight can be made. Remember, according to some standard manuals and documents used in aviation industry, there are 10 to 11 phases. So after going through each and every possible source, we have made this conclusory video. We will discuss all flight phases and at the end of video, we will see ICAO at 13 phases and 18 IATA possible phases. So watch this video till end as it's one of the important topic to understand and learn from point of view of interview. Also, if you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and like it and share this video to spread knowledge. Let us begin with the first phase of flight. Pre-departure The first phase of flight where complete preparation takes place. The maintenance department plays crucial role here. They carry out complete checks including the walkarounds, inspections and after evaluating everything they hand over the aircraft to operation department to be precise the aircraft maintenance engineer issues crs certificate to release to service which states that the aircraft is airworthy and safe for flying to the captain of aircraft now after receiving crs the pilot will commence a walk around of aircraft walk around includes visual inspection of entire outside of aircraft to check for any abnormality such as oil leak tire wear or damage control surface etc they will then program all computers in flight deck in accordance with their flight plan. Check that correct fuel is loaded which will be given on load and trim sheet. And commence all their pre-starts and system check prior to passenger boarding. Meanwhile, cabin crew will check their emergency equipment in allocated area. Ensure that their harness that is seat belt is adjusted to fit and check the catering supplies. And after everything, they will conduct a final security check before passenger boarding. Next phase is clearance to taxi. Once the aircraft is boarded with passenger, loaded with cargo and all doors locked, the pilot will obtain a ground clearance from air traffic controller to taxi. The aircraft is then pushed back typically with a tug. Remember, when engine is off and aircraft is moving, it's called towing. Now when aircraft is clear to power under its own steam, that is pilots are able to start engine. The tug is unhooked and now aircraft will move on its own power that is true engine or propeller, it's called taxi. Finally, the aircraft will taxi to the takeoff runway for lift off or takeoff. The third phase is takeoff. After reaching to runway threshold, the pilot will ask ATC for takeoff. And after clearance, the pilot will accelerate the aircraft to take off power and it becomes airborne within seconds. The gear is retracted. Remember, the actual takeoff speed and distance required for every flight varies due to number of factors. The factors are pressure height, wind speed and direction, aircraft weight, air temperature, flap setting, runway gradient, clearance and operational requirement, etc. Next phase is initial climb. An aircraft needs lots of power to take off and therefore in normal operational condition, a power setting close to maximum thrust will be set for takeoff. However, like automobile engine, jet engines burn more fuel and wear out quickly when working at maximum revolution. So the pilot will reduce takeoff power to a lesser thrust for climb when a safe altitude is deemed to be reached. At this stage, it causes some concern to passenger as they hear the engine reduce their noise output and often they will feel the aircraft slow down or even feel as though it is falling out of the sky. The next phase is climb to cruise altitude. Now the pilot will ask ATC for cruise altitude and maximum time the flight will stay in cruise. The transition from climb to cruise will take about 5 to 7 minutes depending on weather and turbulence. At this time, the passenger seat belt sign is turned off in smooth condition. This is the clue for flight attendant to unbuckle their seat belts and commence in flight services. At this time, the cabin manager makes the post takeoff announcement. The sixth phase is cruise altitude. As I already mentioned, this is the phase at which bulk of flight time will be spent. The optimum cruise altitude depends upon weight of aircraft and typically an aircraft will ascend that is climb as flight progresses as fuel weight is burnt off. 
At high altitude, the more fuel efficiency is achieved as there is less wind and drag. That's why the higher we fly, longer it can go. But we cannot go higher forever. There is some limit called service ceiling. Till that only we can fly. The service ceiling or altitude varies from aircraft to aircraft, but mostly it is around 35,000 to 41,000 feet for commercial aircraft. We will discuss it in another video. So stay tuned and subscribe us. Next phase is descent. In this phase, the pilot will start decreasing the altitude from cruise level. The descent can be approximately 20 minutes before you can land or touch down on runway. In this phase only, the seatbelt sign will be turned on usually 10 minutes before landing and cabin crew will carry out final secure of cabin for landing. Now before landing or touch down, there is one phase known as approach. At this time, the aircraft has to be configured for landing. The aircraft will gradually slow down. The flaps will be deployed. Slats at leading edge will extend to create more lift at lower speed, which ultimately lowers our landing speed. The landing gear will be lowered and locked. Aircraft will line up on what we call final and continue down the approach path. And then finally, the aircraft will enter into landing phase. This is very critical stage of flight where the aircraft slows to such an extent that it literally falls out of the sky just inches from the ground. The landing speed is different for every flight and is dependent on same factor as takeoff. The pilot will deploy lift dampeners or spoilers on top of the wing to break down smooth oil flow over wings and destroy lift. They are often referred to as speed brakes. Now, once the aircraft touches the ground, the pilot will start applying wheel brakes. A pilot will also use TR, that is thrust reversal, if there is one in the aircraft. In properly equipped aircraft, they will change the pitch angle to negative to reverse the direction of airflow. This will further help in slowing down the aircraft quickly. When aircraft completely stops, it will then move to the next phase of flight. Taxi to terminal. This is the ground maneuvering from runway to terminal via taxiway. The passenger will disembark and flight is completed. But there is one more phase which we call post flight or post departure phase. This is the phase where change of crew or turnaround takes place and everything will go over and over again for next flight leg. Remember, when post-flight and pre-flight phases efficiently lead into each other, it is termed as turnaround. So there are total 10 common or standard phases of flights. If you have any doubts regarding it, feel free to ask in comment section or if you want to add any extra point, please do it. We will love to hear from you. Now if you have reached here, so let us give you some AMI module notes for module A. The link to get module 8 note is provided in description of this video only, so you can download it from here now. Now as I have mentioned earlier about ICAO and IATA, let's see what are they. The 13 term of ICAO are as follows. Here you can see completely the primary terms and secondary terms. Primary terms include standing, taxi, takeoff, initial climb, and road maneuvering, approach, landing. While the secondary term includes emergency descent, uncontrolled descent, post impact, pushback, or towing, and some unknown phases. Here's a 18 term of IATA in comparison with ICAO WEDREP terms. You can see here clearly that IATA term is more as compared to ICAO WEDREP terms. Every term has more than one or some terms are common but you can see here standing has flight planning pre-flight engine start like this taxi taxi out takeoff has two phases initial climb and route approach has approach go around landing is same landing taxi taxi has taxi in because it's coming in after landing and then standing so there are multiple phases in iata i hope you understand the complete phases of flight from start till end if you found it informative then please share it with your colleagues and aviation friends and like this video. Subscribe this channel for more such aviation related content. See you in another video with another interesting topic. Till then keep learning, keep watching, stay safe.